there are several methods we can go about to make some changes or edit our pipe supports. And one of the more direct ways is there are some things that we can add and enhance just by going to our properties. So if you go ahead and take a look at the properties here, you'll see in general, just like you can with many other parts, you can make color changes or you can make changes on the layer or line type. Uh, the way things are visualized, like changing the material that's going to be used or if it casts or receives shadows. Uh, some of the tags, you know, you can go ahead and you can give it a tag if you wish. If it has an existing tag, you can choose it. We have things that we can edit, but we can also use some where you see the lightning bolts. That's where it's going to be drawing information from the model or from other properties that have already been set. We can kind of scroll down here a bit more and see that there are other parts in your properties that you can change or you can add. Once again, here's an example of the lightning bolt where this is going to be uh, acquiring the uh, from the model and it's getting it from the line group tracing spec. Right here you select is this going to be assembled in the shop or the field. Being that this is a well that's normally done in the field, you could switch this to a field. And then it also you can tell what uh, you can rename what type that you have, the part type. Uh, you have more that you could do down here. You could tell the tracing type, if it's electric, if it's steam, so on and so forth. So you have quite a few things that you can add to and that you can change whenever you are going into your properties. Now, there's also something on the part itself that can be changed. And that's, of course, whenever you select it, you're going to get a series of grips that are going to come out. You always have this one here that you can it and that's to move the part and if you notice you're going to be getting two different dimensions here you'll get a dimension that is uh, measuring it from one end or the other right now we're measuring from the x end over here and we're moving it out so if i wanted to say i wanted this three feet from this end all i have to do is go ahead and put in my 36 inches or three feet and it's going to measure me from the end of this pipe automatically to here like most things we have, uh, we, can, we can flip, we have a place where we can flip the part. Of course, that's probably not very helpful on a dummy leg to you. You can also do a part rotation. We use our compass for the part rotation. You can also use direct entry there. And then you always have this grip at the bottom where we can actually lengthen or we can shorten. Uh, it works a lot like the lateral movement does, but we can go ahead and if you notice, you have two sets of uh, dimensions there, one measuring from each end. So you can go ahead and use a di or direct uh, method of entry if you wish. And then it'll give you that length on your pipe support. It is possible to add a support to a support as well. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. If we go up to our Create tab, our Create tool, I should say, in our pipe supports panel, we're going to get our dialog box come up. We can go ahead and filter some of this out. So let's go ahead to uh, where we have uh, shoes, anchors, and guides. And we're going to find ourselves a good support. And we're going to use this dual riser support. Because it can be attached directly to this part right here. So we can go ahead and use our nearest. That seems to be a good place to go. And we'll find a nearest point on there. Then we'll go ahead and get us a rotation on there. And now you'll see that you have a support which is connected to another pipe support. When we place supports on supports, we can properly attach them by using the supports on supports tool. So we'll go to the uh, plant support on supports tool here. And we'll activate it and we're prompted to select the ones that we want to bring together. So we'll bring this anchor here and we'll choose this dummy leg and we'll go ahead and enter. And you'll see that the pipe supports have been successfully connected. So how can you tell if they're connected? They kind of still look the same. Well, one thing is let's disconnect them and you'll see what happens. So I'll go ahead and activate the support on supports again. This time I'll choose disconnect as my option and I'll choose the anchor and I'll choose the dummy leg. And whenever I select enter, you'll see a disconnect shows. So that's showing you that the two parts are disconnected. So once again, support on supports. 
and we're prompted to pick the items we want to join together, enter them, and now they're connected and you no longer see the disconnect.